Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 4, Practical Geometry, Exercise 4.4 and 4.5. 4.4, Question number 1, Construct the following quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral DL, DE, EA, AR, two angles are given. So first we need to draw the rough diagram. Once you get the question, first we need to draw the rough diagram for all the questions. So this is DL, right? So DE is given as this is DE 4 cm, DE is 4 cm, E, EA, EA is 5 cm, AR, DE, AR. Some, some here it is R is coming. So here I am taking it as R. AR is 4.5 cm. Then angle E 60 degree. Angle A is 90 degree. So this is a correlator we are going to construct, right? So here we are doing, uh, going to do the construction. So where the angle in A, A and E angle is given, right? So we can make this A E as base. So if you are making A E as base means it's easy to mark the angles. That's why I am taking A E as base. So we can take A E. A E is how much? 5 cm. E A. E A. E A means A E only. That is 5 cm. Then angle E is 60 degree. So either we can use a protractor and mark the angle directly. But in some cases they will mention use a protractor. Anyway I am using the Protract, sorry, compass to mark the angle. You can use the protractor or compass to mark the angle. Make it correct. Write it properly. Then use the sharpened pencil to, while we are doing the drawing, to mark the angle. So we need to draw an arc. So each is the same uh, radius we need to cut. Where this arc is cutting where it is touching on the AE. From there we need to save same measurement. We need to cut that. That is the first point, right? That is 60 degree. We need only angle E 60 degree. So that point of intersection. This point is the 60 degree, correct? So through there we can draw a line. So here I am. Uh, lightly I will draw. Then after that we can uh, mark the measurement. Then we can make it dark. Okay. Next uh, angle A is 90 degree. So we can mark the 90 degree over angle A. So here also draw the arc. Where it is touching on the line EA. From there we need to cut the first arc. From where it is touching we need to to the second arc. So now we have to. That is this is 60. This is 120. How much we need? We need only 30. 30 sorry 90. 90 means 60 plus 30 is 90. That means 30 will come the middle of this. Right. Till here it is 60. We need only 30. We don't need the full 60. So the midpoint we are going to find out. So we can make the same measurement. Or more than half of that we will take. And cut the arc from this point. And this point, the point of intersection is the mid. That means that is the 30, right? This is a 30. That means 60. This is 60. This is 30. So this is a 90 degree. So we can mark this one. 90 degree. Correct. This, now we have the angles. This is angle E is 60 degree. Angle A is 90 degree. Correct. Then we can see that this A is given. Then angle uh, A, uh, A to R. A to R distance is how much? 4.5. A to R. That means 4.5 will cut on this line. Means what we will get? We will get the point R. Right. So we can mark directly or we can take it in the compass 4.5. 4.5. Then we can cut it over here. So this is the point. Which one? R. A R. A R is 4.5. This point. This is the R. This is 4.5 centimeter. A R. Till that we can make it done. Because that much only we need. Correct. A R. A R we got. Now we have this point. Which one is missing? 
D is missing. Correct. So how we can find this um, E? The point E to A, E A is given. That is for uh, how much? 5 centimeter. Then R to D. That is not given. D E is given. Correct. D E. That means E to the, the missing point is D only. Right. That means E to D is how much? 4 centimeter. So again we can take 4 centimeter 4 centimeter from E, we can cut that R. So, this is the point called D, right? So, D to E distance is 4 centimeter. This is the point D. So, I don't also make it, make it dark. D. Now, we have, now we can join this D to R. D. So, D E is how much? 4 centimeter. This A E is 5 cm, A R is 4.5 cm, 2 angles also here. So this D, now we got the quadrilateral D E A R, correct. Next we need to draw the quadrilateral true. T R U E, then the measurements is given. So T R we can mark. T R is 3.5 cm. T R 3.5 cm R U. R to U distance is 3 cm. Then U E. This is R to U. U E. Somewhere it will come. The U. U E is 4 cm. Angle R is 75 degree. Angle R is 75. Angle U is 120 degree. This much is given. So here also we are going to construct. So we can make this RU as the base. Correct. Then only we can mark the angles. Easily we can mark. So RU I am taking it as base. RU is 3 centimeter. R U R U is 3 cm. Next, angle R is 75 degree. 75 means uh, we have only the angle 60, 100 like that. Right? That means 60 plus which one is uh, 75? 60 plus 15. Correct. 16 plus 15 is equal to 75 degree. This 15 means half of 30 only. Right. Like that we can mark or use the protractor and we can find the angle also. Anyway, we can find. Anyway, I am using the compass. Because in some school they will um, ask you to do the compass for finding the angle. That time you should use the compass. Otherwise we can use a protractor to mark the angle. So here 75, right? So it is cutting. The first one is 60. Next arc is 120. But we don't need 120. How much we need? We need this 60 till 60 we need. Then plus how much we need? 50. So 15 means what half of 30 only, right? So first we need to find the 30 angle. So here we are cutting. Here we are cutting. The same measurement. So this is a midpoint. Midpoint means this is 60, this is 120. So this much of distance is 60. Midpoint means what? This much is 30, right? This much is the point. This is the 30 angle. But need what? How much we need? We need only half of this one. That means this here to here. How much? 30 is there. That means this much is 90 degree. So from this 60 to this point is how much? 30 degree. So we are going to find the half of that 30. So that much of measurement we can take it in the compass. Draw one arc. Both the point, then the point of intersection is the 15. Correct. So this is the point. So now, now this is 60. This is from here to here is 15. So 60 plus 15 is 75. Now this is the angle 75. We got. We can mark join this one. 75. Mark this angle as 75 degree. Then angle U is 120 degree. 120 easily we can mark right. 60 120. Draw one arc. So the arc is touching on the same point. First one is 60. From where? Next one is 
120. So this is the point 120. Then we can join this. This is the 120. So mark this angle as 120 degree. Correct. R u equal to 3 centimeter. Angle u 120. Angle as 75. Correct. From R to T is how much? 3.5. So we can take 3.5. R. From R we are cutting 3.5. So this point R T is. That means the cutting point is T. Correct. This one we can mark it as T. And this much of distance is 3.5 centimeter. Correct. R T is 3.5 centimeter. Next U to E is 4 centimeter. That means U we need to take 4 centimeter. 4 centimeter. Cut it over here. So this point is E. That is 4 cm. Now we can join this E to T. The remaining portions we can either erase it or darken the figure. So this is the uh, figure T R U E quadrilateral. And exercise 4.5 question number 1 S square Re AD with Re equal to 5.1 centimeter. Square means what? All the sides are equal only, right? That means all the sides are 5.1, 5.1, 5.1, 5.1, 1, 5.1, 5.1, 5.1, and all the angles are 90 degree also, right? So we can draw the square. So first we can uh, mark it as Re AD. So Re base we can take it as 5.1 centimeter. 5.1 okay. So we can mark it as R E 5.1 centimeter. Correct. So then all the sides are 5.1 but we are not able to mark the uh, arc right. So we don't know. We need a line then only we can draw the uh, we can uh, if from here we can take 5.1 but where it is intersecting that is not intersecting anywhere right so that means from any point we need to take one angle that anywhere all the sides are all the angles are 90 degree only in the square right so any one angle we can take it as 90 degree any one side directly i'm using the uh, protractor and using or you can use the compass to mark the angle anywhere we can find 90 degree this is a 90 degree line, right? So here we can cut this 5.1 over here. Now we will get the point. 5.1. 5.1. That means from this point cutting over here. So this is 5.1 centimeter. So that one we can make it dark. Till here is 5.1. So we can take it as 5.1 centimeter. What is the point D? This is the point D. So from here also we can take 5.1. From this here also we can take 5.1. That is the point of intersection for A. Right. This is a 5.1. From E. E to A distance is also 5.1. So we are drawing one arc. But we are not able to draw E to A. So like here anywhere we can draw. But we need a point of intersection. Right. That means D to A is also 5.1. So from D to A. So this point of intersection is the A point. Correct. Where it is intersecting two arc, that point is A. Now we can join all the points. A. Now we have the figure R E A D. All the sides are 5.1 centimeter. This is the square. Okay, next one. A rhombus whose diagonals are 5.2 cm and uh, 6.4 cm. 5.2 cm is which one? AC. AC equal to 5.2 cm and BD equal to 6.4 cm. We know that the rhombus means what? Rhombus means the diagonals. Diagonals bisect at a midpoint. Correct. All the sides are equal in the rhombus also. Then here it is given the diagonals. Sides are not given. So diagonals means using diagonals we need to construct a rhombus. So how we can, how the rhombus looks like? 
this is the rhombus right so this is one diagonal this is the another diagonal correct so the longer one we can take it as 6.4 and this diagonal we can take it as 5.2 that is 5.2 is ac and 6.4 uh, 6.4 is bd that means a b c d so this is the rhombus a b c d is the rhombus we are going to construct here it is given the diagonals diagonals as ac and bd is given we need to construct this rhombus a b c d so we know that in the diagonals bisect at a midpoint midpoint means what bisecting each other bisecting each other through equal parts only the diagonals are bisecting correct so first we can do this point ac ac equal to 5.2 cm Five point two. So we can mark A C equal to five point two centimeter. So next diagonals bisecting each other. Correct diagonals passing through the midpoint. So this we are going to find the midpoint of this A C. That means diagonal is the through the midpoint. Diagonals bisect at the midpoint. So this one we are taking it as O means diagonal bisecting at the midpoint only. Correct. That means we need to find the midpoint of this AC. Midpoint of AC means half of 5.2. Half of 5.2 is how much? 2.6. Otherwise, we can use the compass and find the midpoint. We need to take more than half of this. This line AC. Then draw an arc above. And from the point C, we are going to arc on top and the bottom. From AC, we are going to intersecting this arc here we are intersecting so then these two points we are joining means what is that one this is the midpoint where it is passing touching on the line that is the midpoint this is the midpoint this point this is the midpoint of AC otherwise uh, using the scale we can measure verify also this is 2.6 correct 2.6 2.6 2.6 plus 2.6 is 5.2 like that we are finding the midpoint that means diagonals bisecting correct diagonal bisecting at a midpoint so here we got the midpoint that means next to diagonal this 6.4 is passing through here only right so the 6.4 half on the top and a half on the bottom right this 5.2 means 2.6 on this side and 2.6 on this side so like that 6.4 half on the bottom and a half in the uh, top and the bottom so half of 6.4 6.4 by 2 is 3.2 right so take 3.2 on the compass three point two from the midpoint we need to cut it on the midpoint line so this is three point two three point two this point that means this one is this point is B and this point Once is you get the points B and D using scale, we can verify B to D, uh, B to D distance is 6.4 or not. Yes, correct. This is exactly correct only. Now we can join this BD. We can make it dark. It's already joined. That means BD is the diagonal, next diagonal. And we can join B to A. That is the side of the rhombus, right? B to A. A to D. D to C A to C so here uh, this is 6 point the full length is 6.4 that means this is 3.2 centimeter this is also 3.2 <coughs> <Sorry>. <coughs> centimeter so this is the rhombus A B C D answer Question number 3. A rectangle with the adjacent sides of length 5 cm and 4 cm. So here we need to draw a rectangle. We can name it as A, B, C, D. Two sides are 5 cm and 4 cm. Properties of rectangles means opposite sides are equal. So this is also 5. This is 4 cm. Then we know that all the angles are 90 degree. Correct. So using this we can draw the rectangle.
so we can uh, the base we can take it as ab that is 5 cm ab 5 cm then these two sides are 4 cm right so any one angle we can mark here i am marking the 90 degree angle we need to draw the arc where it is touching on the line ab using the same measurement cut another arc this is 60 degree one more that is also 60 that means till here it is 120 we need only 90 right that means the 60 here to here is 60 the 60 half we are going to find out from these two points we need to take two arcs the point of intersection is the point 30 right that means 60 plus 30 is 90 degree join these two points lightly we can draw then how much we need we need only 4 centimeter Four centimeter. We need to take it on the compass and cut it over here. This is the four centimeter. That means that point is this point is D. So that much of we can make it dark. That point is D. This is four centimeter. From this four centimeter, D to C is how much? Five centimeter, right? So that five we can take. Five centimeter. Then B to C is how much? Four centimeter. This five and the four centimeter arc intersection is the point is C. So this is the point C. C. We can join these points. So this is our rectangle ABCD. This is also. This is. 5 cm this is 4 cm so this is our rectangle ABCD question number 4 a parallelogram OK AY where OK equal to 5.5 cm KA equal to 4.2 cm so here we need to draw one parallelogram OK AY OK is 5.5 cm KA is 4.2 centimeter here two sides are given so what is the property of parallelogram in parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal that means this is also 5.5 this is 4.2 so here to complete this figure we need one angle right so what about the parallelogram angles we know that in parallelogram opposite angles are equal correct opposite angles are equal in parallelogram then sum of all the angles is 360 degree also. So that means any angle we can take. Because here it is not given any angle. So we can take. So suppose here I am taking this angle as 60 degree. So using this 60 degree we can complete the parallelogram. Otherwise you can take it as 70 degree. So using that also we can complete the parallelogram. Or 90 degree or any angle we can take. Then we can complete the parallelogram. Anyway we need to complete the parallelogram with the side 5.5 and 4.2 centimeter. So base is 5.5 cm, 5.5 that is O K 5.5 cm then this angle is 60 degree, 60 degree means we need to draw an arc right, any measurement we can draw an arc or using protractor also we can find the angle 60 degree. Where it is intersecting on OK, from there we need to cut one arc. So this is the point 60 degree, correct. We need to draw a light line. Then what is this O2, Y is how much? 4.2. So take 4.2. So this is the point Y. Where it is intersecting on the line, that point is Y. We can make it dark. Y then Y2 A is 5.5 K2 A is 4.2 so the same 4.2 K2 we can cut one arc this is 4.2 only right yes then uh, Y2 A is 5.5 
y2 yes um, y, from y, y we need to intersect this arc with the 5.5 so this point of intersection this point is a so now we can join all the points a so this is our parallelogram for 5.5 this is also 5.5 centimeter this is 4.2 centimeter this is also 4.2 centimeter we can measure all the sides and verify this is correct or not answer